Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to find scrap, scrap in the vulture. Um, there's a couple different ways of doing it. One is spawning your own ship, going out and scraping your own hull, and while that's efficient, it's cheesy, and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I hope they uh, do something to nerf that, because it's kind of a dumb way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it is to take a salvage contract, which was pretty lucrative when you were able to sell the weapons at a decent rate, but I think they need to do some more balancing because, um, for example, I just took one for uh, for uh, Constellation Andromeda. Oh, there we go. And it was 20000 to take the salvage contract, and I scraped um, maybe 45000 worth of scrap, worth of uh, recycled material, and the guns were... Actually, the guns glitched out, but they would have sold for about 2000 apiece. So, for all the time it took me to scrape that thing, and it was probably close to an hour for the mission, I only made maybe 30,000 tops. Um, there was some cargo in the hold, but some unrefined ore, but I wasn't able to sell that anywhere. I tried a lot of different places. Um, if you know where to sell that, let me know. But I tried No Questions Asked, I tried the refinery, um, refinery processing, I tried an admin terminal. Um, TDD, I tried a scrap uh, salvage yard, um, it's also possible it was glitched, but eventually I just took my vulture up against uh, um, pirate NPC Cutlass Black and it didn't go awesome so I lost that cargo. But um, Scanning for cargo is probably, or salvage is probably the best way to do it, just because you, you have a good chance of finding plates with a little patience. And the plates actually net a lot of uh, scrap. They harvest fast. Um, and you can typically fill up your hold on one find. Hopefully there's no players around here. I am leaving Grim Hex, which is a pretty violent place. So I'm gonna, first I'm going to get pretty far away from here. Um, another way, I mean, if you look at, if you look at the missions, there's... Initially, you only have a couple of salvage missions. Now I have 23. There's a lot of them, just because I've done two or three. Um, a lot of them are 300 eyes, 325 eye, Eclipse, Constellation. There's a Caterpillar, and you can look at where that is. That's her L4. Um, again, when, when you take those contracts, they're damaged ships, so the hull scrapes off really slowly. Um, so it's not really a good experience. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. But what I'll do sometimes is take one of those contracts, go out to that contract, and then search for um, other salvage or scrap in the area of that contract so I can kind of double dip. And typically the, the scrap I find out in the wild is more uh, valuable than the scrap I got off of that ship. Whoa, those are a couple of asteroids that almost just killed me. I should probably start scanning. Um, so here's what we're looking for, these little um, cube things. And what you want to do is hit Victor, V, and scroll wheel up, and then hit tab again, so you can highlight it, and then put your little white cursor on it and hold left click. And what that's going to do is scan that and tell you what it is. So that's a rock icon, that's obviously a rock. Same thing, this one, I'm going to hit tab, it's going to highlight the little white thing. I'm going to put the little white cursor on there and then hold left click. And this way I don't have to actually fly up to everything. I already know that's an asteroid. Now I'm going to scroll wheel down to expand my radius and I can scan a lot more area. Um, I think that's, oh, that's a new one over there. So hit tab, scan it, hold left click. That's just a rock. Um, 12,000 is a little far. I think in the reclaimer I had to be like 7,000 away. In this ship I feel like it's maybe or 10 kilometers away maybe. Around there, I can already do it. Yeah, 10, 10 kilometers. I could already identify it. So let's just keep doing that. There's some back there, but I'm not. I'm not going to backtrack because that's toward the station. And that's just asking for uh, interaction. If it's something you already scanned, if as soon as you ping it with tab, you'll see that it's a rock. You won't have to uh, rescan it. So this one I haven't scanned because it's not. Um, it up. I, there's no icon there, so that is a rock. Scroll wheel down, hit tab again. I'm just going to hit some thrust. 
In this mode, you can't adjust your top speed. So if you'll notice, I'm going 552. It's probably a little faster than I want to be going through here. So I have to hit V, Victor, again, to get out of that scanning mode, and then scroll wheel down to change my top speed. Um, I'd probably 400 I'm comfortable with. And then we'll hit V again, tab. We've got some things to look at. Let's scroll wheel full up, and then hit tab again. There's a bunch of things lit up there, so I'm just going to hold left click on them. That's a rock. And down here, I can see over there. That's a rock. Scroll wheel down, hit tab. Uh, these look like they might be... Yep, that's what we're looking for. So hit tab again, and when you see that icon, that's a good sign. I mean, I I, I don't normally find things this fast, but this was really fast. Um, with a little patience, I think it's faster than, you know, back in the day when we were looking for quantanium. So when people ask me if scrapping or salvaging is more profitable than mining, I think it is, just because this stuff is found so quickly. Uh, but once you do find it, just get in front of it. I'm going to hit M for salvage mode and then right click to get my oops <laughs> I just put up my landing gear too um, to get the abrade scraper module and then just start scraping away um, a lot of people really like this mode when you hit G because you can just move them around without moving your ship around I actually prefer to move my ship because I can move the cursor a little to the right like this like whatever speed I want. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, there we go. And it's just going to autopilot. Like, once I get the right speed and the right angle, now I'm hands free. I can take a drink, have a snack, use my phone. It's doing, you know, it's doing all the mining by itself. But if you'll notice, the cargo um, gauge is going up really fast. Like, we've almost filled up one, CU, one SCU already. And this just doesn't happen with the salvage contracts. Uh, one thing with a vulture, every two crates that you make, you're gonna have to run back and swap them out. But and then make sure you pause um, salvaging while it's ejecting, because otherwise you'll lose that bit of extra. And. Here we go again. This ship has lights, but it's nowhere near the Reclaimer's lights. In fact, they might even be on. No, they're not, but it's hard to tell because they're just really dim. We have almost filled two crates. There, filled two crates, hold Y, get up. I'm gonna go back there and uh, make some room for more crates, but we've already earned, I think it's uh, roughly 7.7K or 7.8K per SCU. So we've we've earned over 15,000 credits in that tiny amount of time. And once we get this thing filled up, we can pretty easily comfortably get uh, like 22 or 24 crates in here 12 on the grid then you can sack them down here and across here and you can a load will typically yield around 180,000 it'll take maybe an hour um, to fill this up for 180,000 which isn't bad at all um, and then you just go sell it any TDD like Orison
Well, that's interesting. It looks like a 300i, a caterpillar, and a cutlass black all just got into a fight 10k from my position. That might actually, that might work out. We might find some more scrap over there. Yeah, it looks like he's having a rough time. We'll have to remember which direction that is, hopefully. And watch his distance, because if he gets close, obviously I'm going to have to start shooting. Time warp. Come on, server, don't bug out on me. Just move the same crate twice. There we go. So the the weapons on that ship, um, that Drake uh, Cutlass Black, it's probably running something equivalent to. It's, it's probably actually running scatter guns and maybe a couple of Panthers, but let's say it was all size 3 Panther repeaters, which it could run. Um, those will only sell for uh, 1,000 credits a piece now. During um, PTU, they're selling for quite a bit more. In fact, we would take a uh, wake of disaster mission and there would be six destroyed ships and the mission cost us, it was in the personal tab, the mission cost us 150,000 credits to take and then just selling the weapons we would make the 150,000 credits back. So all the scrap from the five ships, which would typically be like a, um, a Carrick, uh, four freelancers, a Misk, a Durr, um, and uh, mole and maybe uh, maybe a cutlass black. I think it was five or six ships total. But the amount of scrap we would pull in would be about three or four hundred thousand credits worth. So it would take a long time to do it with a crew of three on the reclaimer. I think it took us over two hours to do that. But um, the weapons alone were paying for the mission, so it was making it worthwhile. Now that the weapons have been nerfed, um, the values have been nerfed so much, it's not really. It's not really a priority for me to get weapons um, to sell. Alright, what do we have left? So, that one... That one's done. Uh, that one's done. Looks like we have two left. Sometimes you get these little slivers. That's alright. They still, they still uh, scrap pretty fast. Fill up your uh, containers quickly. Perfect timing. Alright, and then I think we just have one more. And I believe my back will be facing that fight after I do this one, so I'll have to just head that way and see if I can find that cutlass.
Alright, looking good. I think we got it all. It wasn't quite a full load, but it, it was pretty good. So I think that cutlass was right around here. Let's see if we can find it. Assuming it's still... same signature, but when you scan it, it's going to give you that scrap icon. Um, the same as the plates. guy that was fighting. I'm gonna assume maybe that Cutlass was nearby. in their cargo. Getting any any cargo scan. Oh, there we go. There we go. Carrying one passenger, Kino Lemaire. Um, quantum drive. I don't see anything. I don't see any cargo. Um, what's up here? Just got another contact.
incomplete. How does it say? All right, so we just hit sell, um, select vulture. Got, we didn't get a full load, but we got pretty close. Normally, it's pretty close to the full load. The full load is 177,000. Um, this one is 92.4 plus. That's on the grid, and then off the grid, we had seven units. 53.9, so 146.3 thousand, and that took about 40 minutes total um, including the little search for the the Drake Cutlass Black that we did so um, not bad at all 